hello everyone welcome back to bpo interview tutorials and uh, today we came up with an amazing concept continuing to the last topic on kpos for the operations so today we will learn about time in queue so before moving to the video i would like everyone please share subscribe the channel also please click on uh, bell icon so that you will get notification for all upcoming videos also click on thanks option if i really help you in your interviews and uh, because of BPO interview tutorials, if you have cracked your interview, please support us here as well. It will be really, really meaningful towards the work, what I'm doing for you guys. So let's start today's concept of which is related to time in queue, which is TIQ. Most of you guys know about this if you're working at the higher level, but the people who are trying to crack the interview for the team lead or maybe SME or maybe they are moving to the team leader to assistant manager maybe you guys will get this question for sure these questions will come only when they are checking your analytical skills or maybe they are checking out your uh, skills on the people management how soon you are wrapping up the volume if you are getting uh, on a faster basis so if we do so yes time in queue is much needed and we need to understand this concept very thoroughly let's start today's concept that is on time in queue so let's guys go with the one by one option what is time in queue so i just don't want to go in brief here with the simple understanding what i will keep here is you are working with a calling process okay per day target is 40 and in every every internal there is a certain volume which is getting enqueued and wfm team is uh, checking out those volumes in the particular interval in every hour now if you are on one particular call and uh, the SLA or maybe uh, the average handling of a call is around 4 minutes, 5 minutes. But you are on, it, it went through long and you are on the call from last 40 minutes. For sure there will be a queue or there is a volume in a queue uh, which got already enqueued a long back. If you are in a calling process example, I will give you a, a best example here. Suppose you are also working with one e-commerce company and... Uh, you are attending a call from the customer wherein the person have the customer have the request or the refund and it's taking long time in the same timing there are multiple customers who are calling to the same e-commerce website for their concern now they already called they will be getting a notification or a automatic call that please wait uh, we you are in line the queue is three you are in line the queue is 2 automatically they will get a response if they are dialing it to the e-commerce website customer care support now the people are waiting there so that the customer support can give the answer and give the solution to them now the people who are waiting that is known as timing queue this is all about the e-commerce example there are many 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 other process like data entry type of process wherein the volume is getting in bulk enqueued in bulk okay so they have a different way to gauge the things let's go with one by one calling and chat email process the average time customers spent on call or chat or email to speak with the agent that is known as timing queue i already explained you now if you are working with any content moderation data entry process we used to get volume in queue and there will be a specific sla suppose there are particular forms to be filled by the uh, agent and the volume is already enqueued the the form which got enqueued in a form of volume you got 100 200 already there will be a specific sla to submit one form maybe 24 hours 15 minutes it totally depend on process to process if that is breaching out then it will move to the over tiq over tiq means over time in queue which means maybe the agents who are working on the current form they took more time so that the uh, the last the upcoming or volume is getting delayed in that particular queue or maybe there are a less headcount to to churn out that particular volume then maybe any situation now you can see this line if employee did not pick or still he is occupied with the existing volume the volume will move to the over tiq it is important to keep in keep the queue in time if we get over weighted in call or chat process if the customer will disconnect the call and we will lose the volume and suppose i'm calling to e-commerce website for the solution now I'm getting continuous message that please be wait on a call. A customer agent will surely help you out. I'm getting continuous re responses, automated responses there. I waited for 15-20 minutes. For sure, I will 
just disconnect that particular call and I'll 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 just leave and I'll I'll maybe call after two or three hours. At that time we lose that particular volume. Yes, that is the reason you have seen WFM team will uh, uh, like uh, like a shout I cannot say but yes WFM will continue monitor. They will tell the agent a person is taking long call. You need to wrap up that particular call because they have a volume in the queue. Now in the data entry or email process we may get volume in bulk and customer will customer will keep their query and they will suppose i just texted and on the email to the e-commerce website that i'm waiting for my refund require your support here now i just done that uh, I, I will be getting a response uh, from the customer support team after one hour two or maybe instant reply i will also get it totally depend if there is a volume in a queue or else the person or employee who are working he was very much faster towards giving the resolution to the customer totally depends on that now how volume moving over TIQ guys this is the main thing you need to understand if this is moving to over TIQ which means over time in queue this is a blender guys because if volume because a, a customer or a company is getting paid if they will crunch more volume if they churn out more volume but the volume is only moving to the over TIQ which means we are losing our brand or we are losing our brand rapport towards giving the solution to the customer now the volume will move in over take if agent did not close the existing volume in the given SLA. SLA, I already prepared one video. Please check it out, guys. I'll also paste link in my uh, description box. You will get the information about it. Service level agreement. If SLA breach for the other pending TIQ volume, then it will also move to the overqueue. I'm working on one particular call and definitely the other customer is waiting. For sure, if there is a longer wait, that person will disconnect and he will leave. So this will again move to the over TIQ. If that person lived, that's fine. Now, if there is an email I got and I did not respond to that email post 24 hours, suppose my SLA is 24 hours, definitely that email or that particular volume will move to the over TIQ. If someone released the volume due to any reason, there may be a chance the volume will come to the over TIQ. Guys, this is the analytic that you need to do. For an example, you are working in three shift, morning, mid and night shift. Now, your particular team is working in morning shift for the mid and uh, night, the other team leads are working with their employees. Now, what happened in the night, the employees got uh, tough volume or maybe they got longer length volume. They used to release it. Now, how to control on release? I already prepared one video, guys. You can check it out. The last, the latest video which I have done on it. They released it. For sure, that volume will come again in the queue. And it will move to the another person, maybe in the morning or maybe to another person. This will go continue. Now, what will happen here? In the machine, in the tool, when that volume got enqueued, suppose 7 p.m. that volume got enqueued in the queue and 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock in the night, one of the admin or employee worked on it and he felt or maybe he released it with any of the reason due to technical, willingly, wantedly, whatever reason it is, for sure it will again move to the queue and uh, it will work like first come first in so again that will move to the queue it will go to the last post all the volume get crunch that volume will come to one of the admin now what will happen the machine time is 7 pm in the morning approximately 8 o'clock the employee got this particular volume which means almost 20 12 hours are already got done wherein the customer is waiting for the solution of that particular email and he did not receive for sure the customer will get angry and yes this is again an over taq because the person released the volume there because of over taq there may be a possibilities the employee who is logging another shift they will get over taq volume and which may be tough as previous shift employee released that willingly this may be a situation if they want to release it being that is the reason team leader need to uh like monitor all those stuff very seriously the routing the release the uh over tiq everything need to be monitored very sincerely if we are working in multiple queue and the queue priority is not set as per the high volume first this will also increase the over tiq suppose i'm working in three to four queue at a time okay uh, and that 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 you depends on company to company again few company have only one queue to work few companies they will work on multiple queues okay suppose example i'm working on calling process i will only receive hindi volume hindi calls i will receive or maybe i will receive only english volume but there is one 
a company they are working on multiple language which means multiple queues they are working on this is just an example i'm getting more volume in english queue but what i did i changed my queue priority to like uh, japanese language wherein i'm getting the low volume for sure that employee will sit ideal for a longer time because he will not get a volume and the volume which is there in the english or hindi queue where there we have a highest volume it will move to the another employee or maybe it will move to the another shift as well now what happened here again the taq will get increased because the existing employee changed his queue priority he he will be getting only the lowest volume which is available again this is a non compliance or a blended activity done by the employee we need to avoid this we need to keep checking on this these are the basic reason of the over taq now let's move solution to avoid the over taq how we can do this do this main thing that what need to be done by the team leader or sme continuous monitor towards the volume and continue continuous checking the queue priority continue check what kind of volume we are getting continue check the trend how how, how what kind of uh, volumes we are getting what kind of trend we are capturing out everything need to be monitored we need to also capture the nq pattern how the volumes are getting nq there may be a specific time we are getting the nq nq which means we are getting the volume into the queue we need to capture that as well so that for an example we are working in 24 into 7 i observe that in the night the volume is getting nq for sure i will keep my more employees to the night shift rather than keeping in the morning shift this is a basic example of nq pattern if we do so we will get to know yes i need to keep more employees in the mid or night and it gives less employees in the morning this also can be done to avoid the over taq now check the release count for the other shift employees yes this is mandatory to be done you need to check out why these people released it check out that particular id and check why that person released what the comment he or she mentioned before releasing it check the nq pattern are we are getting volume and what kind of capacity are we getting out i already explained you guys the the time where we are getting the higher volume we need to keep more employees there we need to roster our shift in that particular way check the nq pri queue priority of the other employees yes i already guided you guys how we need to do that always check the type of queries we are getting if, if we are getting tough queries for sure the time of resolution will take increase and we will lose the sla that totally depends on the trend what kind of volume are we getting suppose if it's a big billion day for the flip card you will get most of the call on order purchase like i'm not able to purchase the order it got stuck my payment got deducted but the order did not conform such kind of call we we will get and that particular calls will extend your sla also because the customer will not get satisfied satisfied towards your uh, solution this is the one thing proper process training required to the employees yes if we do so for sure the waiting time the waiting time will get reduced SME is mandatory to align so that employee issues will sorted very easily. This will help. I can say a single line that is AHT. We we need to always maintain our AHT. That is much needed here. If we are closing out in the given timing, yes, definitely the TAQ will get reduced. Team lead WFM need to cross check volume in every five minute in the tool so that pattern can be observed of the over TAQ or TAQ. if the volume is moving in over taq we need to check with the other employees to wrap up with the existing volume so that we already observed multiple times if you are working with any calling email or chat process do analysis on the nq to assign and assign to decision i already told you guys the machine timing i already explained in the 7 pm the volume got nq one person released it in the morning i got that volume i i wrapped it around 9 o'clock which means nq to assign when that volume got enqueued into the machine and assigned to decision when the person or employee the final employee give the resolution we need to capture that particular time to see how many employees worked on that particular volume and did they release correctly there is a technical glitch what happened due to that that volume got moved to the overti time and motion analysis required the we have also prepared video on it guys do check you will get a proper information towards it time and motion we are doing when there is a new process we need to observe why there are these people are taking more time let's move to the formula this is the end part of the video but yes this is not the one i just explained to you in a theoretical way you guys need to do the analysis in a different way you need to gauge the things where the volumes are not getting crunched out on time by your employees this may be a reason because of the over taq or maybe 
the release count. The, the formula is very easy for calculating the TIQ. The number of calls which move to the over TIQ divided by total call answered. If we are doing into 100, yes, definitely we'll get the percentage of that particular numbers. If we are working with data entry process, there are multiple uh, volume which will get enqueued. There will be a SLA. If the volume are getting breached to the SLA or maybe the volume are moving to the over TIQ, we will divide with the total volume churned out by the employee into 100. This will be the another formula. Both are same, but yes, the gauge, the way how you want to uh, see the want to describe in front of your manager that will make the actual solution towards it. Guys, I believe you got the information. I would suggest you need to watch out this video at least five to six times so that you will get the understanding about the TIQ because guys, this is a very, very important concept that to be learned if you're working in the operation part. If we are giving the solution, the point what I have mentioned, definitely I'm try telling you guys, you will crunch out that interview very easily. So this is all about TIQ. If you still have any information, if you still have any suggestion, if you still have any other inputs towards it, please share it out guys. We will do brainstorming in our comment section. So guys, check out our Facebook page, Instagram, LinkedIn page. You will get information about the upcoming vacancies. All our videos related information will be posted there. Thanks a lot guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Keep share. Subscribe the channel.